All right. Um, handle that phone call. We are back. Sorry about that, guys, but uh, hopefully you didn't miss too much. Well, technically you didn't miss anything. <laughs> what defines our types? You have to do the type command. You start automatically at normal, but uh, if you do type and then set a type name, it'll set up a type for you. Uh, just don't leave it blank. If you leave it blank, it kind of has issues currently, as ex as shown by Ricochet or Rocket New exploding earlier. <laughs> Thank you for the welcome back. Yes, you can set two types. Just do two types. So if you want to do um, two types, you just type two types and it works out. <laughs> You're happy with your life now? I'm I'm glad to hear that. Ooh, interesting type combination. Fire water. Your Volcanion. That's true, I forgot Volcanion is that type. The steam Pokemon. Oh, now I'm getting attacked a lot more. <laughs> Bruh, this guy's blocking my way. <laughs> Imagine having two times against Crown. By the way, it does take type effectnesses, type effectiveness into account for damage. not gonna work. I am better than a safari ball. Oh, now you guys are strategizing against me. Too bad dark type boops are not super effective against fairy. You're burning yourself? Uh oh. <laughs> are you roasting yourself? <laughs> Self burns are a problem. I am very prone to those. 
my god, you're trying to knock me out? You're relentless. What's up in here? Oh, that looks scary. Another robot. This one just seems to be minding its own business instead of trying to kill us, though. Do you think it could be friendly? I doubt it, but I also don't want to bully some random robot if this one's harmless. Ow! Uh oh, uh, I've been caught. <laughs> Good job, Aceol. <laughs> Da -da -da, da -da 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 I actually saw my catch rate and it was literally like 1% away from not working. <laughs> Congratulations, you caught a wamulet. We also tried talking to that bird and that didn't really work out. Yeah, but we're supposed to be the good guys. We don't jump random strangers. Plus, maybe this one's seen Jody. True, but still. Um, sorry to bother you. Have you seen a tiger around here by chance? If this turns around and Jody is in it like a battle suit, I'm gonna scream. Hello. Hi, friend. You look friendly. Um, hello there. De De Pardon? Is your voice processor glitching? De De like definitely you've definitely seen the tiger? Mel, I think now's the time to run. Destroy I was hoping that he would say something nice. <laughs> What's another thing that starts with de? Um Dedene. <laughs> he just really likes the Pokemon Dedene. Let's start off by guarding, just to set up. I wanna see what he does. Okay, he's just gonna go for an attack, I see. Chomp chomp! Oh my god, he's got a lot of health. Ow! Ow! Let's try Lightning Blade on Allison. Deinstalling League of Legends. <laughs> King Dead it is. So many wait. So many things it could mean. <laughs> Uninstall. <laughs> yeah, I, I. You know what? I should have realized that was uh, the word. But deinstalling, I like. I like that. I don't know why. It seems to have a better impact than uninstalling. I'm going to deinstall you from <laughs> from existence. Hmm. See if I can burn it. Okay, I did. No! Oh, what? Ow! No, Melody! Oh my goodness. Um, I need to revive myself. Wow, I have so buff with defense and that killed me. Okay. Peace out. Claire knows when to dip out. Attack boost. 
Yeah, I did die. I died so hard, mine. <laughs> I'm giving Allison all the boosts. Okay, the boulder is very concerning. Let's just guard really quick, because I want to see what happens. No! Okay, I need to destroy the boulder. Okay, I understand. Um, I'm gonna have to use another revival tier. Claire's being a third wheel in the party. <laughs> Don't say that I need Claire. <laughs> I'm I'm dying so much. Heal up. Oh, it's so close to death. Just kill it. Oh, okay, there we go. Man, that took two revival tears. That was painful. It's still moving. Crap, even after all that? How do we take this thing down? What do we do? Run? Hold on, who's that up there? Is it Jody? Jody! Jody's back! Jody! Claire me level up message. Cool beans. <laughs> hey, if I if I could level up, that's what I'd say. All right, mine. Have a good nap. Thanks for dropping by. Claire, what are the three of you doing all the way out here? We should be asking you that. Can we catch up after the robot is dealt with? Huh? Oh, sure thing. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, she's so cool. Here goes nothing. Uh, did you just throw a rock at it? <laughs> now, where were we? Jody, I've never been so happy to see you in my entire life. Hey Jody, found your wallet. You lost two bucks. I don't know how that happened. So weird. I think the trash bird took it. Definitely not me. I can see that. How come you are looking for me, though? Jody, you've been MIA for 24 hours. God, has it really been that long? I'm so sorry. I probably made everyone worry sick about me, didn't I? We also found your wallet. Oh, I must have dropped it during the scuffle. Thanks for that. So how come you skipped town, Jody? You on the lamb? Maybe trouble in paradise with faith? What? No, it's nothing like that. I know. Just having had a chance to tease you since yesterday. Faith told us you're investigating some monster activity and never came home. She sent us out to find you. Yeah, I tried texting Faith so she'd know I was safe, but I guess it never went through. It's not just you. There's some sort of electromagnetic disturbance messing with the phones and internet back in Greenridge. Wait, really? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, we have a lot of catching up to do. Melody, Allison, and Claire take a short rest and fill Jody in on the situation with Javis. Yay, recovery! 
Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. We assume there's a connection between Javis and the monsters you saw. Do you have any leads? Yes, actually. I followed a suspicious cloaked figure up here. I couldn't see their face, but there's a chance it was Javis. We can definitely ask around and see if anyone knows anything about Javis once we've taken her home, though. Her? Her who? Okay, great. I'm not the only one thinking that. Glyph. The robot you were fighting? Pat, this one? Glyph, did that gizmo your friend told me to use work? You feeling better? Hello? <laughs> oh, hello there. Yes, thank you so much for rebooting me. I'm really sorry about my behavior just then. I wasn't myself. Someone reprogrammed me to hunt down any beast folk who entered the desert. Oh, she's actually kind of cute. Oh, um, it's okay. We're glad you're feeling better. Yeah, nice to meet you properly, Glyph. Okay, question. Glyph, are all of the robots out here normally friendly? Sadly, no. We always have a lot of feral robots around these parts. And something seems to be agitating them this week, too. But yeah, my friends and I are kind of special, actually. Speaking of which, I should head home. Good idea. Let's head back to Mumford to regroup. I can take the lead if you three want. Um, sure. You know where we're going. Actually, Mel's been taking the lead for us. She's been doing pretty great, too. Huh? Oh, yeah, I don't mind staying in the lead. I mean, if that's not a problem. No, not at all. I can be our rear guard. Seems like that training's really paying off for you, Melody. Let's head to Mumford, then. It's directly north of here. Jody joined the party as the fifth wheel. We are now a car! Beep beep. Wait, is there anything secret up here? No. Dun, ba, da, 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 da. Now we got a full-fledged part. What does Jody have? I'm curious. A dependable tiger who uses her skills to look out for her friends. A good cook. Absolutely shredded. What skills does she have? Barrier. Blinding chain. Apologize. Oh, cool. So she's very defensive. Not very magical. What equipment does she have? This would be good. Boosts the effect of HP and healing spells on wear by 50. Oh, that's cool. I might want to give that to... Blair, actually. That'll be great for her. So what do we do about this spike hit? Allow me! Fate taught me a barrier spell good for covering up traps like this. Oh, perfect! God, you have no idea how much we missed you, Jody. Let's see how Jody does in a fight. This thing was running away from us, it's scared. <laughs> Kiss. Alright. Getting hit builds up Jody's. Oh, that's. Oh my gosh, she has so much health. Let's put a barrier around Claire. Because Claire is uh does not have as much HP as the rest of us. Mwah. 
Wow, they're already going for Claire, straight up. Oh my god, they're all going for Claire. It's a good thing I did that. Oh, interesting. So this uh, works with potions and stuff. Got it. But I need to have potions for it to work. I can't just, ha like, make potions. Over here, dummy! <laughs> Jody can take it. Jody will take all those attacks. Pretty nice all around party. Nice. Look at how good we did with four people. We are so strong. Bang, bang, bang. Where's the save point? There was a save point around here. Where's the rogue, though? Oh. That must be their secret city. Hmm, I think probably Claire is the rogue because she was the one who was like, hey, let's just steal this money. <laughs> Who's gonna stop us? Not me. Where? I thought there was a save point around here. Now I'm going really far. <laughs> There's probably a safe one in the city, though. The robot city of Mumford. I'm assuming that's what Mumford is. I thought it was a mummy city. Wait, hold on. Let me double check if there's a save point over here. Nope. Okay, whatever. <laughs> the save point's getting a little too far. I'll just wait for the next one. This is it. I guess they locked up the gate because of my, uh, violent rampage. I'm sure everyone will be very happy to see you. Let me just try to get their attention. Hey guys! It's me, Glyph! I'm back to normal! Can you open the front gates? There we are! Let's head on in! Well, here we are. Oh, sweet. Oh, hold on a second. They're in the middle of something. Oh, is there- is this being a quick draw? Is this a quick draw? Ah. Who won? Oh. I don't know who I'm supposed to cheer for. That guy has kill on his belt, though. Oh, okay, I guess it's fine. Heh. <laughs> That's three wins in a row. Darn. I'll get you tomorrow, just you wait. I love this place already. Wait, are they undead? Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess I forgot to mention that. I knew reanimation was possible, but I've never met an undead before. It's a paintball. Oh, that makes so much sense. <laughs> oh, it's just zombies. <laughs> 
Yeah, I th- think it's just that they're zombies. <laughs> it's fine if we shoot each other. We're dead already. <laughs> Don't worry. Everyone here is really nice. You'll get along great. Glyph, you're back. That's one of the zomb- the one of the mummies who roasted us. Whoa, hold on. Did you leave the intruders here? Hey, that's one of the mummies who's been giving us trouble. One of the mummies? There's only one of me. It's been me constantly coming to cause you trouble. <laughs> Plot twist! Wait, that was you every time? Uh, yeah? You're not the only ones who can use healing potions, you know. <laughs> okay, fair. Fair. But it was me. Dio. <laughs> you kind of assumed you were just a lot of different mummies with a strict dress code. You literally could have asked me at any point. You had a big knife. Okay, let's all be civil. I'm sure this has just been a stressful couple of days for all of us. Yes, we're all friends here. No need for violence. New beast friends, say hello to Neff. She helps keep the peace around here. Um, hello. Yeah, we've met. I keep trying to kick their asses. Trying and failing. We don't get a lot of visitors out here, but some new arrivals this week seem to be siphoning the mana from our power grid. Which we, you know, kind of need in order to live. We run on mana. I figured you were just more goons working for the same people. Well, you know what they say about assumptions. Again, you assumed I was like 10 different identical mummies. So you're not one to talk, Fluffy. There's trouble brewing on the surface, too, and we're here investigating it. My friends are looking for a guy named Javis. I'm willing to bet that whatever's going on here, he's involved. Neff, I don't believe you've met Jody here. She worked together with our friends to fix me. Wait, really? Yes, and her friends here helped, too. Fluffy, I'll note this word to call someone one day. <laughs> you can always call a dog Fluffy. <laughs> the fluffiest of dogs. That's what I call my dog. Hey, Fluffy. Fluffy butt. <laughs> yes, and her, her friends here, too. Our little town is in their debt. Well, if you help Glyph, I guess you can't be that bad. No hard feelings? Yeah, I guess. I'm keeping my eye on you, though. Cause any trouble and I won't go easy on you. Anyway, if you four are here to deal with the guys who showed up the other day acting like they own the place, I've got some leads. Right. Well, they've had a long journey, and it'll be sundown before long. Please make yourselves at home. In the morning, I'm sure you and Neff can come up with a great plan to deal with the mysterious intruders. Um, bum, bum, ba -da, ba -da. What's over here? Is there a secret? Is there a secret over here? Hello. I am referred to as Doc. Are you in need of healing? Oh wow, it's nice to meet a fellow healer. Ah, my apologies. It would appear you are still alive in the traditional sense. My magic would be of no use to you. My abilities are more necromantic in nature. Oh. As you can imagine, this is quite the useful set of skills to have in a town populated by the undead. Different people have different needs, I suppose. Precisely. Save point. Let's save, um... Hey, it's this dude. Jack? Ah, I see you three have become a party of four. You know my friends? I'd like to think for good acquaintances. Maybe I even taught him a thing or two. But it's all in a day's work for this wandering gunman. Need something else? Um, about you. I didn't expect to see any other beast folk this far out. What are you doing out here? I'm glad you asked, Pally. Like I said, the name's Jack. I'm the hero of the heat. Swarm protector of the living who venture out here. Awesome. 
What do you got? What do you do? Got any cool stories? I. Remind folks to stay hydrated. It's hotter than Hades out here. Thank you! Go on, take a sip, ladies. It's mighty refreshing. Need something else? Hey, that's important. <laughs> Keeps you from dehydrating out here. Not to be rude, but what's with the costume? Heh. <laughs> it's a good thing you said not to be rude, because otherwise I'd take offense to that, miss. This is the uniform of a desperado with no laws or obligations holding him back. Like an adventure. I'm pretty sure we have lots of laws holding us back, actually. Ha! Adventurer, huh? I like the sound of that. But no, you may discover that I am... Unemployed. Hey! Adventurers drop some valuables when they get roughed up by the baddies out here. Someone's gotta pick them up. <laughs> Fair? Yeah, I guess that's true, someone's gotta take that. Let's steal that. <laughs> it's a living, you know. Isn't it hot wearing such a big cape in this weather? These are my wings. Besides, never underestimate a good way to cloak to give you shade and keep you from getting heat stroke. True. This hat of mine keeps me as fresh as the spring breeze, even in the blistering summer heat. I'm pretty sure that's because you enchanted it, Claire. What's your point? That's the money. Don't want to do something foolish like wearing anything metal in heat like this. I'm right there. Need something else? Any advice? Yeah, you seem quite comfortable here. It's surprising for a town with so few living residents, but they actually stock, bu stock up on good drink and vit victuals. Victuals? Victuals for your travels here in Mumford. I definitely recommend stocking up before you head back out. Let Allison comment on his word choice. Yeah, victuals? What did you just call food a second ago? Never heard the word victuals, eh, Speedy? It's lingo out here on the trail. Doesn't look like it, but it rhymes with little. Vitual. Vittle. Vittles? So it's vi vi vittles. Every day's a school day. Need something else? Okay, so I mispronounce it. Vittles. Very important that I pronounce that word correctly. Sup. Name's Crad. Crud. Crud. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. What kind of cruddy name is Crud? I like it, though. Keeps me humble. Nice to meet you, Crud. What you doing out here in the dirt? Just chillin'. Nice. Understandable. Have a good day. I'm still not sure I trust you. But our town is in your debt for saving Glyph. Make yourselves at home, I guess. We'll talk strategy in the morning. Armor? I love armor. Ooh, stuff. Look at all this stuff. Get a cowgirl hat. Get, um... Hmm... Cute raincoat. Halves electric damage received. That's cool. Cowgirl best. So this one is more defense than magic defense. Hmm. A lot of good options. Cactus wand. Ew. That might be good for me, actually. Thieves dagger. Hey, look for the rogues. <laughs> Spike gauntlet. Hmm. Let me see what else we can get. I should probably get some tears, just like two. But I just spent some. And a map. Map is good. It's always important to have a map. Also, let me sell my extra textbook. Ooh, more textbooks. Wave Maker. Adds a new element to your repertoire with these water-based attacks. Bubble, Drizzle, Multi-Bubble, and Geyser. Chronomancer. Control the flow of time with these support abilities. Teaches slow-mo, speed up, 
Time heals some wounds in payback time. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Um, water-based attacks might be interesting. I don't have water. But Chronomancer seems better. Hmm. That's my Chronomancer. I'll give that to Jody because I don't really like um, the Alchemy one too much. I think that'll be better. And then Jody needs a head and a charm. So let's look what we can get for Jody. And you know, I buy her a hat. A nice. Oh, there's more stuff. Android armor. Wow, that looks cool. Brace yourself bracelet. <gasps> oh, it's pretty. Beaded bracelet that allows the HP where to just barely survive finishing blows with one HP. Mana Saber. Cast spells like there's no tomorrow with this accessory that reduces the MP cost of all wearer spells by 25%. Ooh, cool. Hmm. Reichbat at you. Pocket mirror that gives the wearer a 25% chance to counterattack. That would be good for Jody. Super Warm Star. Eh. Eh. So I'll get that and then that. So I'm gonna actually give her, um, let me give Claire the Mana Saber. I'll give myself the Bewitched Bandage. And then Jody will get right back at ya. And then she needs a hat. So let's buy her uh, a cowgirl hat. Be a cowgirl, hell yeah. Hmm. What does Allison have? She has Spike Gauntlet right now. Which is pretty alright. This is a pretty good armor. There we go. Okay, let me get a charm for Allison. Um, maybe for her, I will get... Why is the chat reset? It's in 1935 for you? Um, I'm not sure. That's kind of odd. <laughs> I've heard this as well. All right, that seems all good. Now we're all equipped up. Inner Beast Bunny.
Howdy, welcome to the Mumford Inn. I'm Senna, and I'll be your host here. She's cute. Hello, how much will two rooms run us? <laughs> this is cute, yeah. Oh, they actually don't take money here, Melody. They don't? Nope, not much use for it up here, really. The vendors outside only need such gold so they can restock for travelers such as yourselves. So instead of paying in gold, I'd like y'all to share a story for your adventures on the surface. I don't get to head down there often, you see. And you adventure types always have such interesting tales to tell. How generous of you. So all we gotta do is share a story? Yes, indeed. Although our other guest today will be a tough act to follow. Other guest? Who would that be? Oh, you haven't heard? Why, Mumford Savior happened to be back in town. Do you mean Dodie? I mean, I have helped around here, but I can't imagine I've done much as a savior person. Oh no, Jody here has been a big help lately. But Mumford simply wouldn't exist if it weren't for our savior. I suppose you haven't heard the story yet. Words don't really do her justice, though. You should meet her yourselves. Oh, but I'm sure you have some amazing stories to tell, too. Just make yourselves comfortable in the lounge over to the right when you're ready. Okay. Well, I want to see who this person is. Oh, snack machine. Mmm. A single carrot. <laughs> Chocolate bar. Hmm, well I'd want to go for the carrot, but chocolate. The carrot heals, heals more though. Hmm, how many do I have of that? I'll buy, um, three carrot. Does the carrot heal Allison more? Good question. I don't know if Allison really cares about carrots. Maybe she does. She seems to be like, hey, don't eat too much junk food. So maybe she does like carrots. Oh, this place sure is cozy. Wait a second. Is that Allison's mom? Wait, is that mom? It is her mom. <laughs> Allison? It's your mom. <laughs> what are you doing all the way out here? I was heading back to Green Ridge after finishing up my last job. Figured I'd check in on things there on my way. I never thought I'd run into you in a place like this. You really are a hotshot adventurer now, huh? Uh, yeah, something like that. Hi, Miss Galetta. Melody. Work's been keeping me away from Green Ridge lately, so I think this is the first time we've spoken face to face since I've heard the big news. You've been keeping my baby girl out of trouble? <laughs> um, as best as I can. Well, I couldn't be happier for the two of you. Uh, <laughs> she just slides right over. Imagine being your mother-in-law in a place like this. <laughs> I, I think at least we do know each other, but God. Just, hey, um, what's up? How's the desert going? <laughs> well, am I hearing that right? Are we lucky enough to have Mumford Savior and her daughter with us here today? So wait, you're the savior she was talking about? Eh, something like that. I was just in the right place at the right time. It's all ancient history at this point. Humble as always, Amelia. Anyway, make yourselves at home. We'll begin shortly. So, I've freed the hostage. We're running down corridors and dodging ice bolts until we round a corner and see the door to the garage. I lock the door behind us before the Duke's goons can catch us, but that only buys us a minute or two. They bust it down in no time. And that's when I see our ticket out of there. The, bo the boss's prized muscle car. You didn't. Oh, I did. So I duck into the driver's side and start racking my brain to remember how to hotwire a car. You've got a very interesting skill set, Miss Galetta. I try to be a jack of all trades. You never know when a skill's gonna come in handy on a mission. Anyway, I just barely managed to get the car started, and we take off right as the goons breach the door. And with that, we were home free. So yeah, that was my Monday. Wait, we've seen that car. Yeah, I saw that car. Yeah, that was the car we saw parked out at the docks on our way here? I may have kept it as a little reward for all my travels. Figured that creep owed me after blowing up my previous ride. 
Dang, that's a pretty huge upgrade over the minivan. Made rest in pieces. What an incredible story. Oh, you always say that, Senna. And it's always true. So what about Allison here? I'm sure as the protege of a hero like Amelia, you must have tons of stories of your, stories of your own to share. Huh? Oh, uh... Well, you see, uh... I have been at this for very long. So... Um, what about the Core Guardian? Oh, Alliston, what about the Core Guardian? Oh man, where do I even begin with that one? That whole dungeon was, like, indescribable. And the thing we ended up fighting was, like... Um, I'm not exactly sure what it was. Some kind of AI, maybe? It was, like, pointy and floaty. And it hit with all these different moves. Ah, what a vivid mental image. Sorry, I guess you had to be there. Like I said, I don't know if I have the best stories. Don't be too hard on yourself, Allison. You're still new at this. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, I've got one. I could tell the story of how Faith and I started dating if that kind of thing works. Love is an adventure in and of itself. That seems like kind of a personal story to be sharing with a stranger. No offense, Senna. Oh, no way. Me and Senna go way back. You do? When did you even meet? Last night. <laughs> we go way back for 24 hours. We really hit it off the first time I stayed here. Now let's see. Well, for starters, Claire and I are from Brightport. I needed a change of pace from the big city after high school, so I moved to Green Ridge. A couple years later, I just gone out of a relationship that uh, didn't quite work out. It was an amicable breakup, but any breakup's gonna be a bummer. I just tried to focus on my work as an apprentice blacksmith to get my mind off of things. And then one day, this girl came in looking to commission some custom armor and a lance. Was the girl Faith? I'm getting to that part. But yes, it was Faith. She had her heart set on becoming the next guardian of Green Ridge, and she knew she'd need top of the line gear for a job like that. I already kind of knew her since she'd been friends with Melody and Allison from the since they were kids. But she was always busy, so we hadn't had many chances to talk. We hashed out the details on what she wanted, and I could tell right away that she had an eye for craftsmanship. She was passionate about the work. I, uh, could also tell she had a kind of an eye for me. Ooh, how scandalous. I guess at that point I really wanted to impress her, so I really poured my heart and soul into her gear. I made up my finest work. As I was working on it, she dropped by every day. She always said she was just there to check on my progress, but I knew she was too busy for that to be true. We chat while I worked. It already felt like we'd known each other forever. Then, after I finally finished her gear, Faith knew she didn't have a good excuse to drop by anymore. So she just asked me out. And I guess the rest is history. That was a wonderful story, Jody. Ah, to be young and in love. I've just been thinking about Faith a lot these past couple nights, I guess. I hope everything's okay back in Green Ridge. We're here to make sure that's okay. Well, it's getting late. We should probably turn in for the night. It's always nice when I get a chance to catch up with your friends, Allison. So how long are you going to be in town? Oh, I was just stopping by to check on things here before heading back to Green Ridge for some R&R. &R. Things are usually pretty quiet up here. But I feel like I've got a responsibility to look out for them, given our shared history. Yeah, about that. What's up with the whole savior thing? It seems like you're really popular around here. What is R&R? &R? Rest and relaxation. Trust me, it's a long story. And it's not as exciting as Senna makes it out to be. I'll fill you in some other time when you're less busy. Time for us to get some R&R, too. Your rooms are ready for you upstairs. Thank you. Sorry, that room's being renovated. My bad. <laughs> Later that evening.
I wish she would tease the couple a little more, though. <laughs> hey, what are you looking at on your phone? Did our reception come back? Huh? Oh, no, I'm just checking out of habit. You know how it is. You look at your phone all the time. You just can't help but stare at it randomly sometimes. You okay, dear? You seem tense. Eh, don't worry about it. You've got enough on your plate right now without worrying about my crap. Worrying about your crap is kind of my job. I don't know. I'm just thinking about my mom, I guess. Aren't you happy to see her? You love your mom. If I don't have internet, I just stare at it without knowing what to do. Right? That's the most accurate thing I've seen so far. Actually, there's a lot of things that are very accurate, but that's like one of the things that, <laughs> that really is great that it's accurate. She's your hero, isn't she? I know, I know. It's just a lot to live up to sometimes. She's literally these people's savior. Meanwhile, I'm still struggling to pay my rent and cast basic spells. Plus, like, I wanted to see her again on different terms. I wanted her to be proud of me. Your mom's always been proud of you, Allison. She could be prouder. My life's kind of a mess right now. I don't want this to be the mental image she has of my adventuring career for the rest of her life. You know, sometimes I think about changing my last name just so fewer people compare me to her. Part of me wants to make a name for myself instead of having to live up to that, you know? That's understandable, I suppose. It's just a thought, though. I don't know. I'm still rambling. You're always rambling, Allison. That's part of your charm. You know, as far as names go, Allison Amaranth doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> Are you proposing in bed? How scandalous. The alliteration makes you sound like a superhero. Exactly. Hey, you ever wonder? Maybe we should get some sleep before we launch into a 30-minute discussion of what we'd be like as superheroes. Yeah, good call. Who knows what we'll be up to against tomorrow. Thanks for being here for me, though. I don't mean to make you worry. Like I said... That's my job. Well, good night, babe. Love you. Love you too. Ah, they're cuddling. Yeah, turn the lights back off. <laughs> and we fade to black. <laughs> well, I'm all rested and restored. Feel free to rest in the rooms upstairs whenever you like. Let's see if her mom's still here. Ah, she is. It's always nice when I get a ch Oh, she's just gonna say the same thing. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Alright. Well, we're gonna go ahead and save right here, folks. I hope that you enjoyed today's stream of Super Lesbian Animal RPG. We will, of course, be coming back to this game um, sometime. I have to check my schedule again. It should be by... What day did I say I would play it on? Shoot, I forgot. <laughs> I think it'll be next Wednesday, uh, if I'm remembering my schedule correctly. <laughs> or maybe sometime on the weekend, we'll see. I've been, I've been spontaneous lately. I've, I've been crazy. So crazy. But regardless, um, we'll come back to this soon. And don't worry if you missed anything, folks, because these streams will be up on YouTube in parts. So look forward to that once I have a chance to upload. But with that all said, we're going to go ahead and move on to the raid stream. So see you soon, hopefully, for more Super Lesbian Animal RPG. More kisses galore. <laughs>